Let's see. I think we are live. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. So this morning, okay, we're going to have some uh, interesting conversation this morning about how to dial in uh, your espresso wet built-in grinder. So I'm not talking about, you know, just regular grinder here. So this is a, a P64. I'm sorry, not P64, DF64. Uh, electric grinder has a stepless grinder which means there's no step, uh, uh, infinite number of adjustment. So they're pre, if you are into espresso, uh, step less grinder is way to go. Okay. So this is a 64 millimeter, but most of us, we don't have that luxury. And then most of us, uh, if you are using the Bravery machine, uh, which means, uh, pro, if you have a pro, your adjustment is about one through 30. And if you have Express, even lower, uh, it's going to be 1 through uh, 16. And this is the conical burr as well. But you know what? I have to say the conical burr is really good for espresso. All right. I mean, that's no joke. Uh, if you are into flat burrs, uh, flat burr uh, bring out a lot of clarity than conical. So, I mean, if you are into, you know, filter coffee, pour over, if you want to add it to your coffee bar, maybe sure check out some uh, maybe flat burr option as well. And if you still like the conical, you could get a nice hand grinder, but man, I wouldn't recommend it personally. Okay, that's my personal view. I mean, that, that is a lot of work. That's a lot of work to grind, you know, 18 gram to 20 gram dose, uh, depending on what you like. All right, so this morning I'm going to dial it in. I'm going to add some little difficulty, okay? I have uh, the advent calendar, okay? I got advent calendar from 19 gram, and the today's date is 20. So I'm going to get the today's coffee here, 20, uh, number 20. Hold on. Someone say number 5, is it? The rainbow say number 5. I think we're going to go by the date today. So today's coffee is El Salvador. It's going to be anaerobic process. So this is an anaerobic natural process. The reason why I say it's going to be a little difficult because it has only 50 gram. All right. And I'm going to be using 19, uh, 18 gram dose. So that's what 36. So, so the other 14 gram is, I think I'm going to use that for like uh, filter coffee. So I got two shot at it. Okay, I got two shot at it. So let me show you how I dialed in. Uh, let me know, okay? By the way, let me know in the comment section that how many times you guys usually uh, try uh, get the coffee dialed in. All right, just let me know in the comment section as well. Love to hear from you guys. Okay, I'd love to hear your uh, process to it. Okay, it's, uh, how's my video this morning? Is it a little fuzzy or sounds okay? Uh, I mean, at least, uh, least my video is a little better than my uh, shop there. So hold on. I'm just going to clean the camera here for a second here. Okay. Hopefully you got camera cleaned up. All right. So my starting point for my built-in grinder. So this is more like a little darker roast. Okay, a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set at 11, okay? So that's my starting point, all right? The reason I say 11 because that's what I used yesterday for my other coffee beans. So I'm just going to start with 11. And then we have to make, we got a one more adjustment. That's it. So again, so I think that's another reason I like to use the advent calendar. You have to really think about it. By the way, like if you guys are into try out different coffee from different organ, man, I'm telling you the advent calendar is pretty, uh, really fun. Okay. So you get to try 24 different coffee throughout the world. Yeah. So it should be, should be fun to try. And then hopefully sometime this week, I'm going to be bringing out uh, some like holiday gifts idea as well. But the Black Friday sales happening now. 
okay now all right that's crazy i mean usually like day after thanksgiving but now goodness so my friends at croup they're having a, a black friday sales started what a couple of days ago so if you guys are curious about it i'm gonna put the link down below and also i got the 19 gram coffee roaster as well i believe i have a coupon code for that too but here's one downside today's the 20th and if you order 19 gram now hopefully you're not gonna get till it's coming uh coming from germany so it might take a while so but anyway but i do have a other advent calendar uh for in in the state so i uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna be showcase that as well okay so let's get going here so i'm gonna do so it's gonna be 18 gram dose I to grab those here. Uh, by the way, if you are joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, just make sure to join the live chat as well. Okay, we've got some friends at the live chat. You know, introduce yourself. Just hang out. So my recipe is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, I'd like to do like maybe like 1 to 2, 1 to 2.5 ratio. If a shot looks bad, okay, if a shot looks over and under, I think I'm going to make a quick latte for my wife. And if, if we got lucky, uh, we can try, it, uh, try the coffee, okay, try the espresso. So this is uh, coffee from El Salvador, anaerobic natural process, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna try to get, uh, I'm not gonna read the tasting notes right now because I wanna see for myself, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna heat up my total filter by single shot button. So with the, if you have Bra uh, Bravo Booster Pro, I mean, this is the only way to heat up your total filter, that's it, all right? It doesn't get that hot. Uh, using the thermal jet so the upside of a thermal jet is extremely fast the downside is there's no warming up all right all right so again built-in grinder i'm at number 11 for medium roast here we go And then in the end, I like to tap it on the top. So just like tap it. I uh, use it as like a you know, bellow. I mean, it works pretty good. All right, so it comes to, obviously, if you guys see me in this channel, I'm a big fan of the WDT tools there. I mean, I, I love tools. So this is my homemade WDT tools with uh, acupuncture needle. Okay. All right. Let Let's smell this. Man, it smells. It smells really good. I mean, that's the great thing about uh, this uh, like anaerobic process or natural process, and even like double fermented process. There's also, it's called supernatural process too. So there's a lot of different process. I know some, uh, I know some of you out there are purists, okay? Which means, you know, they like just a wash, just simple, wash process they're extremely clean taste but if you are into really uh, funky and exotic i mean make sure to check out the you know different fermentation process they're pretty interesting i'm just gonna do the quick temp here all right uh comes to grind you know i have to say it comes to grind quality Built-in grinder. I know people are complains about it. You know, it's not that great, but hey, I like it. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna add my screen, and then I've been using. I like to add a little bit of hot water before. Okay, uh, it's called like I like to pre-wet the puck by. If you uh, uh, make sure you use a, a screen if you have it. Okay, do not add the water. 
That's it. I'm just going to add a little bit of water in there. Lock them up. Okay, I'm going to be doing one to two ratio. So let's take a look. What kind of shot we're going to get? All right. So this is uh, try number one. Okay, first try. Can we get lucky this time? I don't know. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to flip it around okay shot number one here hold on a second I'm just gonna clean my camera okay here we go shot looks pretty good to me Shoot for 40 gram. 19 seconds. Okay. All right. So we know what to do right now. So you got 19 seconds. <clears throat> so we're going to do shot number two. Okay. So we got 19. I'm not going to drink that one. All right. Because it's going to be, it's going to be uh, under extracted. So I'm going to set to the side. So right now I'm at size number 11, <clears throat> okay? It's got 19 seconds, about 45 gram. So at this point, I like to go down, okay? I think I'm gonna go down to even like number nine. Instead of number 10, go down to number nine. I want to have the longer extraction by uh, adjusting your uh, grind size finer, okay? All right, so what I like to do is, <clears throat> if you are using the hopper at home, whatever you're going down, Make sure to run the coffee grinder, okay? All right, just, num uh, just run that because sometimes the coffee beans are stuck in there. So you don't want to do that. So just run it if you're whatever you're uh, going down. And they're going up, doesn't really matter. So, but, but I still like to do it anyway. All right, I'm just gonna, let's take a look at the puck here. Okay, uh, let's see. Looks good. All right. So let's go number. <clears throat> so what, uh, let's work on the second shot. Again, we are doing the same process. So we change the grind size to uh, from 11 to number 9. And then we're going to do another 18 gram here. So pretty much it. So this is the one downside of using like advent calendar, okay? Because they, they only give you 50 gram for this one. I know some advent calendar give you like 30 gram. Goodness, I mean, that's nothing. So I know some of you out there takes like, you know, 100 gram to dial in or 200 grams. When I start my coffee channel, I remember one coffee took me entire bag okay to dial it in I was so lost there so <clears throat> so again uh, just make sure I don't know I mean if you feel comfortable dialing in yeah uh, just get the advent calendar uh, if you not feel comfortable the risk okay that's definitely risky uh, especially espresso if you are into espresso only person, now filter coffee is a lot more forgiving. But espresso is a different story. So look like that. The Dylan say go to number eight rather than yeah, I'm at hold on a second am I at nine or eight hold on yeah I'm at eight Dylan okay I'm at eleven I thought so I thought I was going to nine but I'm at eight now yeah yeah 
I think I accidentally put the number eight there. <clears throat> it's all right. Okay. Maybe we got lucky. We got lucky. All right. I'm just going to do my quick distribution tool. I'm just going to add my puck screen. Uh, so again, I've been using the this. I've been adding. It's called pre the Just a little bit of water added to your puck before you pull the shot. Is that necessary? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like part of your ritual. Okay, it's kind of like workflow. So. Like WDT, I know some of you out there not a big fan of WDT, but and I am. So here we go. Okay, let's try again. All right, here we go, folks. Looks pretty good. I'm at 24 gram right now, 30, 24 seconds, about 40 gram. Yeah, so this is the shot, okay, I'm, I'm looking for right here, looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. I think, we, uh, so it took us about two try to get the shot there, okay. So we start with the number 11, too fast, and uh, I was going to number 9, but I will accidentally Go down to number eight, and so that was the the sweet spot. Twenty four seconds uh, again. <clears throat> so let's try this coffee. Cheers. Man, very fruity. I taste lime. Some kind of citrus, okay, citrus like orange like. I'm very curious. I'm gonna take a look at the, the tasting notes. Blueberry, milk chocolate, and strawberry. That's it. Yeah, some kind of berry there. Very quite tasty. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now, so this shot earlier because the great thing about the family drinks coffee we can always the pass it on to our family so now here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a quick latte using the the first shot okay. so it should be it should be interesting so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my uh, latte in the morning <clears throat> And I'm using the whole milk here. Uh, so is how many of you struggle with the milk frothing? Okay. Yeah, let me know in the comment section as well. I'd love to hear from your... When it comes to milk frothing, it's not easy. Uh, uh, it comes to Brista Express or Pro. I think Pro is a little easier, I have to say. But comes the express uh, takes a little longer okay. so with pro I like to start it first and I like to stop and put back in because I want to purge out the water and I like to introduce air to kind of like, you know, to create this micro bubble. You just wait, that's it. We just wait.
So when uh, milk is ready, you know, because they're they too hot to touch on the bottom. So. I think we are getting very close. Just make sure, clean it well. Okay. Just clean it well. And ideally you want to use like some kind of paper, uh, wet paper towel because I see that all the milk is uh, burned in there. So yeah, I think I'm going to be cleaning that. All right, I'm just going to get the leftover espresso from earlier. Let's do some quick latte art. Okay. Uh, Shout out to Mary for a super sticker. Yeah, so this is the, the it's called Imagine Glass from Krupp. Uh, latte art friendly, so. Okay. I'm just gonna work on it here. Something like that. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. All right, looks not bad. Yeah, looks pretty good. You know what? I need all the help I can get, okay? I need all the help I can get. If there is a, the easier glass to put my latte art, I'm gonna check it out, all right? If there's a easier to put the milk jug, sure. But if you don't care about that, skip all that process because <clears throat> it's kind of like you're you know spending money on the, this huge this empty hole okay you're never gonna fill it because just the time okay you just need the time to the practice latte art I mean as a home barista it's gonna take a while okay? it's gonna take a long time so pace yourself all right it's not a unless you're gonna get a job at Starbucks. Nah, I, I don't know how much uh, latte art does in Starbucks, but even like local coffee shop there, you know, specialty coffee shop, you're going to learn latte art in a matter of weeks. Okay, that's it. Because you get to pull so many latte art every single day, you're going to get you're gonna get good really fast. But until then, just, uh, just enjoy your coffee every morning. And what else? And then I'm going to take a look at your uh, questions or comment on my the light live chat again I'm gonna shout out to Mary let's see here I got let's see we got Dylan's we got Mary hold on a second uh, Mary asked me what is the cheaper the best cheaper per over setup uh, you know what uh, let's find out okay I got I'm going, uh, I'm going to bring some stuff from the work so I can show you. We're going to do, do some show and tell. Okay. Because the best pour over setup, most likely, okay, you need, here's the thing. If you have Brista Express, you already have Conical. If a filter coffee, you cannot do filter coffee on uh, Express or Pro. Uh, you need some kind of hand grinder or some kind of grinder so the cheapest is a hand grinder setup but oh, hold on a second here the rain asked me uh, is there an advent calendar okay hold on okay so uh, I got the advent calendar from 19 gram the espresso and filter they're identical but the roasting level that's it all right so yeah so it's not huge difference there Okay, I think we are. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna shout out to Mr. Rainbow too. And they got Christina say after watching some 2000 tutorial, I think I can say fraud pretty well. Latte R is average, could be better. Yeah, I mean goodness, the milk, uh, the milk frothing is the the key. Okay, even if you have a bad latte R, who cares? As long as your milk is very creamy. I mean that's what you want so 
uh, comes to a cheaper filter copy setup nowadays the hand grinders are getting so good but they're getting expensive as well so I mean good hand uh, decent hand grinder it's gonna set you back what 150 bucks $200 I'm talking about the you know really good ones uh, you need to pick out some kind of brewing method obviously V60 is the cheapest but I think that's the most difficult as well that's the most difficult set uh, to to learn the easy but difficult because and pretty much it and good coffee so so cheaper setup is a V60 and some hand grinder but if you want to get in getting into real uh, and time okay and time you have to have a lot of time to figure out what's the it's not about the best brewing method okay not the best brewing device I'm talking about what is the best brewing method for that device like let's say like V60 they're simple but they're somewhat difficult to learn the master I'm talking about mastering <clears throat> doesn't matter what kind of brewing method you have if you master the V60 you're gonna have some finest coffee in the world I mean I seen it so yeah so but if you want something really easy if you don't want to spend a lot of time that's the different story there as well anyway uh, I think it was a lot of fun okay we got really lucky with grind size we start with the number 11 we ended up going to number eight I think we have the shot anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and sometime this week I'm going to uh, showcase some uh, kind of like Black Friday special about uh, so again the crew already started their Black Friday special already so I'm gonna put the link down below and uh, if you are looking for cups very I'm talking about unique cups though and 19 gram already have the advent calendar already out uh, I think I believe I have a uh, let me find the coupon code for you guys if you guys are interested because advent calendar is a uh, difficult to dial in but you get to try coffee from all over the world so I mean that's the upside again downside is you only get 50 grams per day so that's the downside all right folks uh, I'm gonna see you guys next time